Good afternoon, everyone. Scientists propose a 50 days on, 30 days off lockdown strategy. And instantly, 7.4% of one of the largest real estate ETFs dumps. Who would that largest holder be? Looks like Bank of America. What do they know that we don't with this new strategy proposal? 26% rapid food inflation fee in a Chicago chicken shop. Remember when I talked about beef wholesale prices at the highest record ever last week? Three thirty a pound and climbing. We're at four ten this week. Food riots rocking the authorities in Chile. Streets of America, this is how our country is going to fracture. Remember, they're going to have you looking right when you should be looking left. The grand solar minimum, reducing the global food supply, and the economic reset at all of our doorsteps. In the year 2020, it's so important to keep your body functioning at optimal performance. And collagen may be the closest thing we'll ever get to a real fountain of youth. After all, collagen is the most abundant protein in your body and essentially the glue that holds it all together. When you're middle-aged, you're only producing half the collagen you did in your youth. My focus is about digestive health because the change in our diets from foods being unavailable, moving to seasonal foods, and the entire spectrum of availability of foods changing. There's so much more to talk about with the benefits of collagen. You can visit healthwithadapt2030.com to learn more. The link's in the description box below. And with any happy government on the planet... When they're trying to do measures that probably aren't in your best interest, they're going to have you look right, and you really should be looking left. It's a full deflection, a distraction. A perfect example of this would be J.P. Morgan, 2017. Bitcoin's a fraud. J.P. Morgan today, extending banking services to Bitcoin exchanges. I remember that very story. When Jamie Dimon said he was going to fire any trader on the desk that was buying Bitcoin in J.P. Morgan, yet in Europe that same day, they were the third largest buyer on the planet. And digging into the pre-open on Yahoo Finance, you're telling me NASDAQ and S&P futures were both up 0.88%? No, there's no manipulation there. Nothing to see here, except an enormous amount of real estate prices cratering. These are just three out of 50 that I could have put up here. San Rafael, California house prices, 10% down. South Lake Tahoe, 10% down. Minnesota Beach, North Carolina, 20%. And we'll start to see in these holiday destinations and rental properties crashing through the mountains, through the beaches. Get ready. If you have any purchasing power, you're going to be able to pick up real estate for pennies on the dollar. Because see, that's the whole thing with the market movers and the banks they're going to pull all their funds out before the collapse comes. So what you want to do is look for some institutional money exiting the market because they get foretold of the future. And with more talk of lockdowns coming at even a heavier, more intense phase, especially moving through November forward into 2021, possibly 2022. Right off a of zero hedge, somebody dumped everything. Mystery investor pukes $333 million. That's not a sign numerically for big traders, is it? You 33rd degrees. Somebody dropped 10.5 million shares or 7.4% of the real estate select sector. It's a fund that pools real estate holdings. An estate fund, if you will. So some gigantic corporation has inside knowledge that there is about to be the most massive real estate crash probably since the Roman Empire. And with that kind of movement of 7.4%, there can't be that many institutional players in there. So it'd probably be pretty easy to identify if we got a list of maybe like the top 10, we could narrow it down and here you go. Real estate select sector, top 10 institutional holdings by shares held. There's only one possible candidate, Bank of America. BlackRock only holds 6.3 million shares. So Bank of America just exited 7.4%. What's going on? What were they told that made them make these moves? That should be the next question. Remember, look over to the right. Don't look over there. Real estate prices are crashing. Don't look over there. Just look for your $1,200 check in your mailbox. Don't ask questions. Especially about rapid food inflation. Definitely going to be a key phrase. It's going to get more traction in the media. Rapid food inflation. Got the Chicago Chicken Restaurant now charging a 26% fee on top of the regular taxes. 
Restaurant manager says a case of chicken wings that was 60 bucks a day before jumped to 90 in a single day. They're saying, hey, we had to pass on the costs. And here, circled in green for you, a 26% fee, even added on to the Chicago city tax at 10.25. Man, that is steep for a tax. Are you kidding me? So obviously through social media, people were asking a lot of questions. Half of them were saying, hey, can you do that? Is that legal? Maybe I could do it for my restaurant. And the other half are going, how dare you? And about a week and a half ago, did this story featuring beef wholesale prices skyrocketing to record rises and record highs. And that was at $3.30. So the progression of that is now up to $4.10. Straight up. Look at that line. It didn't stop. So where do you think it's going to stop? Five, six, eight, ten 10 bucks, 12 bucks? So some of these restaurants are going to get pinched. And your supermarkets, if you haven't noticed, a lot of the meats are disappearing. I had somebody write in and say, you know, where the meat used to be, they're filling it with beer now. It's a cooler. And keep a little journal of what's disappearing from your stores and what the prices are increasing as. If you haven't already started to buy seeds, you should, because then you can grow microgreens and at least start leafy veg in a garden to offset some of the costs right now because what I see on the horizon and what so many others are screaming at the top of their lungs, we are going into first a deflationary event where people are going to get spooked and not want to spend their money and there'll be more goods out there than there are dollars chasing. But then it's going to flip at some point and it's going to go into a hyperinflationary event where the Fed with this endless printing just can't keep doing that. So I'm wondering how much of this price increase is actually because of the absurd amount of money printing that the, the Fed, in conjunction, United States Treasuries nationalizing everything in the country. The world's paying attention to that. And then we have this whole new model of how things should move forward with the same defunct models that were used from the Imperial College of London, the same debunked scientists and statisticians and analysts that told us we should lock down the planet are the ones that we found out nothing was even remotely close to what had happened. And now these same people are coming back saying, you have to do this. And I can't believe even world bodies are still listening to them. But here we go. Scientists propose 50 days on, 30 days off, lockdown strategy. And I even highlighted in blue, it will ensure some level of economic protection. Scientists claim, have we dropped into la-la land where scientists are now economists? Now, the article goes on indeed, and I really try to detail this in my Patreon post because what I was talking about, you could not talk about here in YouTube. You can check that out, Patreon forward slash adapt2030. The lockdown is going to be so ferocious, so ferocious, but then they're going to give you 30 days of breathing room, (sighs) but the holidays are going to be locked down this year. Harvest season will be open though. Yay. And to try to give you the best perspective I can about how your food prices are going to increase and famine is upon us globally as we look out to this landscape of no planting this season, very little planting due to the lockdowns. Here's how it goes. Ford temporarily shut down two plants just days after reopening. Okay, so they went back to work. A few people came back sick and they locked the entire thing down. Now those same facilities to produce automobiles went from open to shut again instantly almost, just two days. So what's going to happen with our poultry, swine, and beef production in the processing facilities when this exact same thing happens? All right, here's what's the U.S. poultry production slump already is hit by labor shortages, meaning people not coming to work. That's not including the government regulation of the shutdowns. Nope, something different. This is just people purely saying, I'm not coming in, not taking the risk. So we can see the downward trend. Now, remember, there's a little bit of delay on this. So the actual trend is running about two weeks behind this. We're talking about chickens. They've called, what, 300 million chickens in America because we could eggs can't go to market Meat can't get processed. So we've actually been eliminating the food supply, which is criminal. Now look at the meat packing plants here. When they open and then they get reclosed again, we're going to find the same thing. Now is it going to be meat and chicken and pig? Of course it is. So our food supply is not going to get reopened like you think it might. And all we need to do is look down at Chile today, biggest news story. 
People are actually starving during the lockdown. So now they have nothing left to lose. Now they're clashing with the authorities, demanding food. This is a street scene here that's going to be seen in America. Mark my words, before the end of the year is out, and fully through 2021, this is going to be our reality. There's not enough food being processed in the country at the moment. So you're going to have to learn to grow your own so you're not one of these people on the street fighting. This is what will happen if you're staying in cities. You must get out to the countryside somehow, way, shape, or form. Learn how to grow the food. The protein, that's a whole different animal. No pun intended. But you're going to have to think about protein sources, vegetable sources, vitamin sources, and water sources as you move through. Forget all the other stuff on top of that, of like cleanliness and hygiene, which is also an utmost number one check the box thing to think about. These people just don't have food and they're locked in their apartments. So when it comes to America, do not delude yourself that we are going to stay the same country we are now. With the reset of the economy and different governors playing their games, you can see this right here. I was sent this map. This is perhaps the way the new lines will be drawn. Which new sector would you like to reside in? And I'm going to start working on the newsletter more. I have cycles coming out in the newest newsletter. You can find the way to sign up for that on oilseacrops.org. All of the videos that are here are then taken into a written form and then put into PDF so you can share all this information with your friends and family, get all the charts, have the signs behind you when you talk about this. This box is going to pop up 10 seconds after you hit the site. Just scroll around, move your mouse around, enter your email there. And look for a newsletter trying to sum up some of the craziness and what I see sort of as landscape. And at least you have one opinion that you can add to all these others that you're getting and hopefully get a wider tapestry moving out and forward. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.